Let us have that table in the corner. It's so much more private and cozy. Of course, Dr. Ward. Thank you. Thank you so much. Enjoy your dinner. Thanks. Clint. What? I can still feel it. Your lips on mine. The beating of our hearts together. We had a wonderful afternoon. <laughs> Made my day. <laughs> oh, no. What? Well, let's just go ahead and order our dinner. The ubiquitous Vicky. Who has every right to be here, same as us. Indeed she does. Why don't we go over there? No, I don't. Yes, no, no, let's I don't. say hello to her. It's only polite. Why, hello, Vicky. Are you dining alone? You and John broke up. How are you dealing with that? Go ahead and say that. You didn't think that John and I were right for each other to begin with. I only said that I think you could do better than him. Really? Yeah, how the hell would you know that? I thought you left. I ran into Nora on my way out. I have something that I need to say, and I needed to say it to both of you. This has to be a lie. And if you're so sure that you're going to adopt Jamie, how come Antonio signed up that you haven't?
long have you been standing there? I didn't want to interrupt the intense conversation you were having with yourself. I was practicing. Mm -hmm. For what? I guess you'd call him my nemesis. Well, 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 Dorian and Clint. Thank you. No, I'm not dining alone, Dorian. I'm meeting someone for dinner. A date. Oh, how nice. And you know, people go around saying that it's so difficult for women of a certain age to meet single men. Sorry to have kept you waiting. I had some last-minute business to oh, attend to. not a problem at all. Douglas, uh, this is Dorian Lord and Clint Buchanan. Uh, Douglas Klein, he's a new member of the hospital. I know you. Douglas Klein, Klein Industries. Pleasure. Are you and Vicky on a committee together? No. No, we actually just met today, and he invited me to have dinner with him. Clint Buchanan. Buchanan uh, Enterprises. Yeah, yeah. Nice to meet you. Yes, it is. Enjoy your meal. You do the same. <laughs> Now, you can't allow this breakup to send you into some deep, dark hole. You know, there is a fleet of men out there that would be happy to be with you. And the self-pity thing, I'm telling you, it doesn't look good on you. I'm so glad I ran into you. See? All right, you're going to be just fine. You're a strong person, Matt. Come on. Glad I am. So, you want to talk about it? With you? Hey. All right, how about we have two cups of coffee? And we talk about everything and anything but John McBain. Like what, religion and politics? Uh, sounds good to me. Come on, let's have a seat. Hey, Sean, so, why don't you take the rest of the night off? You sure? Yeah. So before you go, would you get me two cups of coffee? No problem. Get it yourself. Okay, I will. Have a good night, boss. Be good. See you in the morning. Good morning. So, can I get those coffees? Two cups of coffee. I'm coming right up. Go get them. With a capital L. Uh-huh. So, do I sense some tension between you and Ken? Uh, it's, it's Clint. Uh, and yes, you probably did. He's my ex-husband. Oh. And you ought to remind him of what he's missing. Well, I can definitely help you with that. 
hope you don't mind if I enjoy myself in the process, dear. If this is going to be another lecture about how bad Officer Saeed and I are handling the arson case, then Nora, that's probably the last thing we need to hear. Of course it is, which is why I'm here to apologize for having been so hard on you earlier. I realize you both want to have a suspect in custody as much as I do. So I had no right to accuse you of... Of slack. Of not working hard enough. I lost my temper. I was unprofessional and insensitive. I understand. Thank you. I understand, too. I know you've been under a lot of stress. Officer Saeed. This is a very difficult time. This isn't just a case. It's personal. I lost my house, everything, and I almost lost my son. Many people have been hurt. And unless we get this guy and the group that he works for and put a stop to them, more innocent people are going to suffer or worse, be killed. LPD, science speaking. There's been another fire. There is no us, then. Fire. How come every time we see each other, we end up having the same pointless conversation? And we're going to keep having the same pointless conversation until you admit that you are crazy and madly in love with me. What about your promise to stay away from me? What about your promise? I'm what's trying. The point is, what's the point? I love you. I love you. And I want you and me and our daughter to be together. It's inevitable. You know that. It's never going to happen. Why not? Oh, right, because you're married to Antonio, and you don't want to leave him. Why? Because you don't want to hurt him. Well, you know what? He's a grown man. He can take care of himself, and the last thing that that proud grown man needs is his woman to stay with him out of pity. I, I, I can't talk about this. Don't anymore. you think that he's going to wonder why you're dragging your feet on the contract? He already asked me, and I told him exactly why I haven't signed the adoption papers yet. I'm on to you, Dorian. Oh, on to me in what way, Clint? <laughs> You are trying to tell me that that guy's putting the moves on Vicky to see if I will get up and run over there and try and rescue her. No, I'm not. I'm right. I'm right. No, you're I'm not right. right. And you don't are you so even wrong. try to deny it. Even, even, even if he were right, it's not going to change the fact that that guy is going to try and get Vicky into bed tonight. Uh, well, you know, she, we both know that she can take care of herself, so we don't even need to discuss this. The thing is, I am here with you. My choice, your choice, our choice. Now, if we're going to have a grown-up relationship that's honest and respectful, there are going to have to be some ground rules. No, no, you're actually, you're mistaken, no. Uh, I'm, I'm certainly not trying to make my ex-husband jealous. I think I'm way beyond playing juvenile games like that. I expect so, I see. So, you're here with me because you want... I like that. It, well, I'm, I'm here with you because you invited me. So. So, how about a bottle of champagne? Not for me, thank you, no. Afraid? Afraid? Afraid of champagne? No. A glass of champagne. Or maybe more than that. Wait. Your best champagne, please. Sure. Magnum. <laughs> now, when you say nemesis, I take it that uh, you're talking about this guy Tate Harmon. Yeah. The Tate. The what? Oh, that's how he refers to himself, in the third person. Not all the time, just enough to be annoying. I know, I think that only take about one time. Tell me about it. Uh, is this guy still after Adriana? Let's put it this way. I think I should 
get a voodoo doll? Well, you know, as police commissioner, I'm really not at liberty to recommend any kind of uh, method of... Uh, Tape destruction? Right. Yep. Look at the guy, Bo. Well, you know something, that, that picture, it's all, you know, it's, it's all been doctored up. Yeah, which means that Adriana spent a couple of uninterrupted hours looking at his you-know-what, making tiny little brush strokes. Uh, Balsam? Is there something that you'd like to tell me? Heavy on the milk, no sugar. Thank you. You're welcome. No, I'm not very good company. Well, I will be the judge of that. What I mean is that with the way I'm feeling, I just don't think I can be adorable. Uh, but you're managing. Okay. So what happened between you and John? What was the last straw? I thought we weren't going to talk about him. Yeah, but now I'm thinking that you need to talk about it. I expect to move on and get your feelings out without talking about it. I don't know what there's to talk about. We love each other, but we're just too different to coexist. Uh, irreconcilable differences. Absolutely. So you break up with him? Or did he break up with you? You broke up with him. <laughs> Good for you. That's all right. I don't know what difference it makes. I mean, you know we're not right for each other. We both know it. You're sorry? Yeah, sorry. Sorry, I'm hurt, pissed, all of the above. Yeah. It's probably going to be really hard for you to go to work and see him every day. Mm -hmm. Thanks for reminding me. Yeah, I'm dreading it. How about if I had a mist? This building looks on fire. Do we know anything about it? Other than it's a residence, according to dispatch, the FD and, and three units are on the scene. Oh my God, arson again. It's too soon to say that. I want to go down there. Round up the other units, start a canvas. With any luck, somebody saw something. Okay, we'll do. I'll call you as soon as I get there. Okay, good. Son of a bitch. This is Detective Vega. I want all units on the scene at 4910 King Street. Everybody reports to Officer Saeed. Recognize that address? No, but I know the neighborhood. Yeah, me too. Our arson is struck again. Christian, I was hoping you could check out my set list. Sure. Excuse me. What do you think? Well, I think this song right here is one of your best. Oh, you're sweet. Now, come on, you know it. And I think that you should probably announce it after your second set. That way the crowd will stick around for the third. Oh, you're a smart boss. You're the artist. Yeah, I'm just going with my gut. Okay. Hey, Christian, get lost. I'm not going to talk to you. Ah. Sooner I listen, sooner I leave. Okay. What is it? Oh, something came up. I'm not real, is it? Hey. Yeah, I'm so sorry about dinner. Uh, I actually called you a couple times, but I'm sure it was too late. I have a good excuse. I have really good news. At least I hope it's good news. But uh, I have to leave for a couple of days, so I'm not going to be able to take care of the kids, like I said. You're leaving town? Yeah. I have evidence that my son is alive and information about where he might be. You told Antonio you didn't sign the papers for pool. What? Because we're making it a family celebration. Oh, that's a good one. I mean, even though you and I both know that it's a lie, the real reason you didn't sign those papers is because by doing so, you'd be fully committing yourself to Antonio and his family, when really, you and I both know that you're in love with me. But you're doing the right thing. Because the last thing you should do right now is drag Antonio's daughter into all of this. Why do you keep on doing this? Why do you keep on doing this? How many times do I have to tell you, I love Antonio, I'm staying with him, that's my decision, and there's nothing that you can do to change my mind. Oh, were you sure of that? Get away from her. Take get out. Or I'll throw you out. 
Well, that was lovely. More? Uh, no, no, thank you. No. Actually, that was rather foolish of me. I shouldn't have done that. No, I'm finished. Thank you. I can't recall this by myself. <laughs> um, well, I'll join you with some water. Water? Sparkling water. You're not eating. Is your filet mignon trop signon? What? Too rare. Oh, no, no, no. It's fine. I just don't like being ignored. Oh? And uh, how have you been ignored? Well, you ignored what I was saying. Okay, Clint. Uh, would you have rather that I was more confrontational? Damn straight. If you don't like what I'm saying, you just come out and tell me. Okay, I really didn't enjoy the fact that you practically presented me with a list of requirements for our relationship. No, I didn't have a list of requirements or rules or anything per se. I, I just thought that, you know, you could avoid an awful lot of grief by keeping away from certain subjects. Ah, uh, such as? Vicky and my family. Oh. And will they do the same for me? Oh, not likely, but then again, that's their business. I'm just saying that I want you to stay out of trouble and try, just for a change of pace, to turn the other cheek. Hmm. And what would be in it for me? Well, you would know that you'd be uh, doing it for me and that I'd appreciate it an awful lot. Oh, I'd be doing it for you? Well, in that case, I will try. I really will. <laughs> well, I can't ask for anything more. <laughs> well, isn't this nice? You see what happens when you lower your prohibitions? <laughs> Don't know what that means. <laughs> you know, really quite lovely. Oh, well, that, that's very kind of you. Thank you. No, there's nothing kind about it. I wouldn't mind getting to know it. Thank you. Fire's out. Anyone hurt? No. Place was alarmed. Residents got up. Thank God. Yeah. It was an older couple. They were pretty shaken up. No. Shaking up is when you lose your luggage flying home, not when your house burns down around you or you almost lose a loved one in the flames. Well, I know. I, uh, I almost lost my wife. Get him. Go get the bastard and bring him to me, and I promise you I will put him away. You are interrupting a private conversation. And you are trying to do everything you can to get between my brother and Jessica. Mm. What do I live for? So you want to be a smartass, huh? You think that's going to get you Okay, anywhere? okay, okay. Calm down. Look at me. Look at me. Nash is the father of my baby, Christian. And I'm not going to apologize to you every time you see us talking to one another, okay? So just calm down. Look, Jessica, I'm not stupid. I know the two of you are not just talking about the It's none of your damn daughter. business what we're talking about, Christian. Okay? Watching you. She has such a good idea pushing him like I that. don't care, Nash. He's really starting to piss me off, and you know what? So are you. What new evidence are you talking about? Where did it come from? Miles Lawrence. Spencer left it with him in a letter. What, and you bought this? <laughs> Spencer yanking your chain. No, no, no I don't Even think so, because you know, Miles was really hesitant to give it to me. He felt he had no choice. Well, what? <clears throat> Who cares about his motivation, Todd? You know, Spencer has been trying to hurt you, and that's all he's ever tried to what do. What exactly are we talking about here? It's a bunch of numbers. I had to break them. What is it, in code? Yeah, those first three, area code. Last five, zip code. <laughs> Just a bunch of numbers to make you crazy, No, huh? no, no. That zip code, it's in Chicago. Yeah, and the area code's in Chicago. So I think the baby's in Chicago. Well, now that's obvious. Spencer is not obvious. That's true, but he didn't send it to me. He sent it to Miles. You have to take it to the police. No. I 
can explain the pictures. I think that picture is pretty much self-explanatory. I told you about the photo shoot that Adriana and Layla had at the ski lodge. We all got snowed in. Mm -hmm. Other models couldn't make it. Mm -hmm. I know. You gave me grief then, too. Let me ask you, does this mean that you're going to be all over my billboards? And... No! Who's going to hire a private eye? Everybody's seen half naked. Oh, women! Huh? Oh, look, I don't claim to be any kind of an expert with this kind of thing, but obviously Adriana thinks enough of you to hire you to sell her stuff. What do you think? I don't think you're my type. Yeah, no, I should. Yeah, I should hope not. Thanks for that. Look, I want you to relax, Paulson. Because whatever you decide that you're going to do, you make up your mind to do it, and you do it. The only thing you have to worry about with Adriana is not doing too much and screwing it up. Look, I'm not a sports hero, Bo. So what? Yeah, sports schmorts. <laughs> Unless. Unless no, what? You want to go in on a baseball team with me? How about I buy you a beer instead? Don't touch me. You got it. Two beers. I was just about to call you. What have you got? We don't have any conclusive evidence yet, but from what we do know, it was arson. And Vincent Jones was connected. Jones, you are so bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you can't even tell me that you didn't think about it for at least one second. Yeah. No, I was trying to decode gangster talk. And you know what? You better be careful. Talking about icing cops around here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. You know you're better off without them. No, I don't know. Not yet. Well, in due time, you will. Mm. Well, loving John McBain was a lot of work. You see, that's the problem right there. Love should be the opposite. It should be easy. It should be fun. It should be natural. You've never been in love, have you? Vincent Jones. I need you to come down to the station right away. Why? There's been another fire. So, why do I care? You're not a suspect. So why do you want to see me? I'll explain when you get here. I'm on my way. That was Antonio Vega. It seems to be that there was yet another fire. He wants to see me. But why? I mean, they cleared your name. They know that the, these fires were caused by some hate group. Yeah, but the way it sounds, it sounds like there's something going on. I better go. All right, well, I'm going with you. What the hell is she doing? Isn't it obvious? This has got to stop. What, Clint? Don't go over there. Clint! Excuse me. What are you doing? What am I doing? I'm having a good time. What, what is it to you? What is it to you anyway? Vicky, I'm worried about you. Even I'm a bit concerned. Oh, yeah, I'm sure you are. Oh, now, wait just a minute here. How much of that champagne have you had? Frankly, that is none of your concern anymore. All right. Wait, Clint. I think that both Clint and I understand why you're upset seeing us together since he's, in effect, rejected you in order to see me. Dorian. Isn't that true, Vicky? No, it, it, it is absolutely not true. I can take it. Have you accepted my dinner invitation only to make Ken jealous? Clint! Name is Cl no! Clint and I have been divorced for years, and I have absolutely no desire to get back together again with him. Oh, really? Is that why you were begging him to take you back right here in this very restaurant just a few nights ago? Smack in the middle of his date with yeah, well, me. Obviously, that was a mistake. A big, the stupidest thing I ever did in my life. Just stupid. Doreen, come on. Let's get back to our table. No, Clint. It was your idea that we come over here to rescue Vicky. You know what? I don't need rescuing. I'm having a perfectly grand time, and I wish you two would just leave me alone. Now, why 
would you be pissed at me? Are, are you kidding me? You must be kidding me. <laughs> you drive me totally insane. How, how do you not know that? That every time I see you, you turn my world upside down. And the second that I get a little bit of peace of mind, you show up again and confuse everything. And you won't leave. You just won't leave. But then again, why would you leave, Nash? You can turn my world upside down and make me completely miserable. Yeah. Yeah. You want to get away from me? Why don't you go? Huh? Why don't you leave? Go. Shoot. Meeting Antonio here. Oh, really? Yeah. So you want me gone for that? I, I want you to leave here. right now. Oh, I want you to go. You know, I want to know why you won't sign those papers. I want you to admit to me that you love me as much as I love you. <laughs> Why don't you want to take this to the police? They can help you find your son. First of all, Chicago's out of their jurisdiction. Second of all, uh, as far as my NGPD is concerned, this is a closed case. So if the kids need me, give me a call. Look, if your son really is in Chicago, and if you do find him, whoever has him may have legal custody. He's my kid, though. So what are you going to do, kidnap him? I'll figure that out when I get there. No, just think it through first. He's my kid. I know that. How am I going to stop you from doing something crazy? I'm going to go with you. I'm going to go with you to Chicago. Yeah. Glenn, I think we should go back to our table. Yeah, why don't you? Uh, no, i got to make sure that Vicky's all right. Dorian, why don't you go and check on her? Excuse me, I don't think it would do her heart any good to see me. Huh. Oh, here she is. Nikki, you all right? Going home. Oh, yeah, I haven't eaten. I think you drank your dinner. Dorian, come on. Watch your steak. Get to know me a little. You know what? I, I, I think I know enough. You're a little drunk and I'm going. Vicky, you look pale. Will you leave me alone and stop hovering? Yeah. What are you, our mother? No wonder you divorced her. Hey, I'm here now. What's going on? Those bastards burned out Grandpa's house. No, they didn't. <laughs> no. Is he all right? His grandparents are going to be fine. They got out. But they both inhaled a lot of smoke, detective. What the hell are you people going to do about this? If it wasn't other ours. What do you mean if? We came in here, Sean and I, and we talked to you. Sean told you that his grandfather had problems with these people in Chicago, the one pure people group. Did you tell anybody else about that? Nobody. My grandfather doesn't talk about anything that happened back in Chicago. But then after we come in here and we talk to you, his grandfather's place goes up in flames. What's up with that? What the hell are you implying, Joe? What I'm implying, you add it up and figure it out. You're the cop. Could this be a coincidence, baby? A coincidence or whatever. I want these bastards caught. We all do, Mr. Jones. But he's right. Can't ignore the fact that there might be a leak in the department. Oh, my God, I hope not. I'll cross-check everyone who was on duty tonight for possible connections to that group. This whole okay. thing is so sick. Hopefully we'll find something that'll help us nail them. Yes, man. Don't no, sorry about that. Uh, pop house, man. Yeah, I'll find me a place to live, whatever. The doctor bills, you tell me where to send a check, okay? Thanks, bro. That means a lot. Hey, man. You're my friend. Family always treated me like one of their own. Vincent. You are family. You hear me? You are family. I love you. I'm going to go back to the hospital now. I, I have to ask you a few questions first, but then I'll take you myself. Okay. Oh, you must be so upset for Sean and his family. You're damn right I am. I don't know, I don't know. You know what? There's something I can do. You know, I don't have to play by the rules like these police. Uh, what does that mean? What it means is 
I'm going to get out there, and I'm going to find out who or whom is setting these fires. And I'm going to bring in these racist sons of bitches. I'm taking them down myself. Fine, if you're not leaving, then I will. I, I thought you were waiting for Antonio. Hello? Hi, baby. I got held up here at the station. It's probably best that you head back and relieve the sitter. That's okay, Antonio. Um, that would be better that way. Um, anyways, I, I have a surprise for you. Yeah. Well, that, uh, that sounds good. I love you. I love you, too. What's a surprise? Don't do it. Don't do that. Jessica, don't. See, I am formally and legally adopting Jamie. Now, if that doesn't prove my commitment to Antonio, I don't know what does. You shouldn't go alone. I'll be fine. Take care of the kids. Just keep Star away from Cole. You listen to me? I know Chicago. I know the law. I need to do this on my own. I understand that. But your own is going to have to include me because I'm going, Todd. Listen, no listen. arguments. And what are you going to do? Are you going to tell the cops what you know? I hadn't thought of that. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for that idea. You really want to come? Okay. Okay. I'll make the arrangements. God, you look beautiful. Are you still hungry? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm hungry. Let's go eat. Let's take care of the kids. Stay tuned for scenes from the next One Life to Live. On the next One Life to Live. If the baby's alive, why are people lying about it? He's taking Evangeline Williamson with him. Where did you even get this clue from? Spencer Truman. Something is bothering you. Come away with me now, and we'll tell Antonio to get